Joining me here in Malaysia is Tuan Lip from RES Malaysia, and we're taking a closer look at mobile computing in manufacturing. Thanks for joining me, Tuan Lip. Happy to be here. Good evening. Now, what is the role of mobile computing in the uh, manufacturing processes? Well, um, today a lot of people are talking about Industry 4.0, you know, where um, we're talking about a lot of machine learning, artificial intelligence, and big data. But uh, essentially, you know, all these systems only work if there's sufficient data to be captured, and um, that data is relatively error-free. And uh, basically, mobile computing kind of allows that, you know, in manufacturing today, where data through these mobile computers is captured at the source of where the data is being generated, and then uploaded to a backend system where, you know, um, new systems with machine learning and big data are then able to analyze this data. So it, it's mobile computing is actually a very integral part of uh, Industry 4.0. You mentioned accurate data, and of course the mobile computing hardware will play a big part in supporting that sentiment. What do you look for in mobile computing hardware for manufacturing? Uh, well, of course it has to be uh, easy to use because obviously a lot of the workers using these mobile computers aren't going to be very highly trained IT professionals, right? So um, of course the device has to be easy to use, and of course most manufacturing runs 24 by 7, so a long battery life is very crucial. And because these are typically devices that are not owned by the individuals, you know, uh, uh, not very, not a high amount of care is going to be, you know, used to take care of these devices. So the ruggedization is going to be very, very important. So these are, you know, basic factors that really uh, is required in a typical enterprise device today: ruggedization, ease of use, and a long battery life. We hear the term rugged device used a lot, but what does rugged mean to you when it comes to mobile computing? Well, um, ruggedization actually goes beyond purely just you know wrapping a device in a very hard protective shell. Uh, it has to be from inside and out, both the software and the hardware, right? And that's where uh, you know our long relationship with Zebra allows us to kind of uh, um, unlock that value because obviously a consumer-grade device uh, often breaks, and on the software and the hardware piece, when it's used in a very rugged environment where it's hot, you're using very sweaty hands or even wet hands, and of course it's dropped in onto a hard concrete floor uh, where you know a broken screen can basically cost thousands in lost manufacturing hours. So ruggedization uh, requires basically engineering from the inside and out, both the rugged software as well as the ruggedized hardware that can withstand all these uh, rigors of a factory floor. When it comes to your mobile hardware and manufacturing, the aim is always to maximize your return on investment and that means maximizing uptime. What do you recommend uh, manufacturing organizations need to do to maximize the uptime of their devices? Okay, um, when it comes to Zebra hardware, uh, most of our customers uh, that buy industrial hardware, they expect that hardware to last at least three to five years. And with Zebra One Care, where you have options for hot swap devices that allows any uh, device that is uh, broken or not working to be replaced fairly quickly within a, a couple of uh, working days to ensure that the device is back up in a productive mode uh, fairly quickly, and that uh, basically maximizes the return on investment for all our customers. Tuan Lip, tell me a little bit about RES Malaysia. Uh, we're basically a manufacturing and supply chain systems integrator, where uh, internally we have expertise in both providing hardware as well as software uh, for our customers across the manufacturing and supply chain verticals.